APS student athletes held a peaceful protest at the Roundhouse today. They're once again urging the state to allow sports and other extracurricular activities to take place even when their district is in remote learning. This time they were joined by students from across the state. News 13's Brady Wakayama shows us. The message was loud and clear from these student athletes and their families from schools across New Mexico. Although these schools are usually competitors on the field or on the court, today they were on the same team, vying to be heard and bring back sports. We're the future, and uh, I feel like our voices need to be heard. We're obviously the future of the state. These are the future police officers, the future political leaders. Our voices need to be heard. We matter just as much as the other students. They met at the Roundhouse with Mass earlier this afternoon, with students and parents taking the mic, pleading their case to decouple sports and other extracurricular activities with the hybrid learning model. Sports, if you're playing outside and you're six feet apart and you're, you're wearing masks, is that really going to hurt you? I think it's going to help you. And the simple fix is this. Be couple. Separate the rule yeah. from going to school and playing sports. I say football, but I mean all sports, all activities, all extracurricular activities. Change the rule! Then they marched about a mile away to the steps of the state's public education department building. Well, After a couple of minutes of chanting and some student remarks, the group made their way back to the roundhouse, where they posted their signs on the fences for state officials to see. Brady Wakayama, Care QE, News 13. We have not heard back from the PED about today's protest. A spokesperson with the governor's office sent an emailed response saying, in part, the state's priority remains safely expanding in person learning opportunities for New Mexico students. School districts and charters have all the tools they need to make that decision and safely re-engage in a productive hybrid in-person model for the benefit of students.